Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. This is our 13th through 18th Don't Do This kind of segment. We take pictures from our room forms and we look at both the consumer and the professional. We look at setup treatment, you know, the don't do's, these things that people do that are wrong and we'll work through the reasons why that is. Most of them are focused on room size and usage and treatment, you know, type, amount, and position. That's usually some uh, don't do uh, situation. So the next uh, five videos we're going to focus on, don't do this, uh, numbers 13 through 18. There's about three or four picks per video, and I'm going to comment them on them, and uh, we'll see if that'll be uh, helpful to you. So really do hope this helps. All right, so we can see in this setup here that We've got a two-channel system. Looks like it's set up on a second floor, like loft type area. So the first thing we notice is the right channel sidewall is not equal to the left channel wall. One is open, one is closed. Okay, right away, that's a definition of phase. Because remember, we have primary, secondary, and tertiary reflections that have to be managed. And if we have a right channel wall that is not solid, the time signature of those reflections are going to travel all the way across, it looks like a staircase there, all the way across the staircase, hit that wall, which has some alcoves in it, which is not good at all, and then bounce back and, and travel back and cross our direct sound field from the speaker. So that's not what we want because those time signatures have to be managed correctly. So. Then we have that sofa there, which is not good. Can't be having that there. Uh, that has to be free space and open. So right away in that photo, we can see some issues with setup. And setup's a, a big problem in these rooms. Okay. All right, so we can still see uh, the overview now of that wall we were talking about that's missing. We get a bigger picture here in the, in the whole situation. So the couch in the back, the equipment off to the side, the coffee table, all of that's got to go. And then you see we have some treatment on one side, the left channel wall, and we have no treatment on the right channel wall. In fact, we don't even have a wall. So that's an issue right there, the more phase. So all that stuff, all that clutter between the listening position and the speakers has to be removed. And then we have to match the treatment on both walls. All right, in this room, we've got good volume set up. It's a little theater. But we've got the speakers on a table positioned underneath the television, which is not going to be a, a good situation for us there. And then we've got this huge window to the right. And then the left is the solid wall. So we know from past videos that we have to treat both the walls with the same rates and levels of absorption. And that's going to have to be calculated with the glass there. So sliding window panels, our foam sliding window panels would, would work there. Looks like a pretty decent sized room, multiple seats. I remember speaking to this client and they don't use the back seats that much. So... This is a common thing in theaters, too many seats, because it's difficult to get good sound when you have a lot of seats. There's going to be certain seats that are going to sound good, and there's going to be others that don't. So you got to keep an eye on that. All right, so we got a lot of issues here. we got a bookcase. It's not a diffuser, by the way. Please quit saying that. Diffuser has to satisfy five very rigid criteria. And album covers just... <laughs> Simply can't do that. I don't know where that all came about. It looks like a diffuser because it has vertical pieces to it. I don't know. But anyway, the bottom line here is you, we can't have speakers also in an alcove. And then we've got one maybe covered with, with fabric and one not. So that's an issue. And then the front wall and then the side walls are all glass because they have these posters so a really not good setup to begin with and uh, 
looks like hardwood floors or hard vinyl floors maybe so that'll be an issue also so just not good setup in, in these first four uh, to look at hope this helps thank you thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up we also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter and then don't forget about our forum we have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.